This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at the top 2 vec algorithm. Top 2 vec is an algorithm for topic modeling and semantic search. It automatically detects topics present in text and generates jointly embedded topic document and word vectors. Okay, so this is a library for topic modeling and semantic search. So let's explore this library on the ARXAV dataset. For that, I have a Kaggle notebook. And then let's come back on the algorithm. Okay, so for that, first what I need to do is that I need to install the top to vec library. Okay, so with this top to vec library, you can do topic modeling. Okay, you can get the topics, topic sizes. You can also search topics by keywords, search documents by topic, search documents by keywords, find similar words, find similar documents, and also expose the topic model as a RESTful API. Okay. And the benefits are that automatically find the number of topics, uh, no stop words uh, list required, no need for stemming, uh, lemmatization, works on short text, creates jointly embedded topic document and word vectors, has search functions built in. Okay. So first what we need to do is that we need to parse this data set. Okay. It's a JSON file having the abstracts, uh, titles and lot of other fields. I look at papers between 2015 to 2021. So all the ARX heavy papers between this period. So this is a Kaggle data set. This data set is available in Kaggle. Okay. So these are the various areas or categories under which publications are done. Okay. So this particular piece where I'm parsing and, uh, you know, pulling out abstracts between these years is actually from this notebook. Okay. This code is from this notebook. Um, so what is done over here is that the JSON file is parsed and basically the, this particular snapshot JSON file is parsed and abstracts are extracted for the period between 2015 to 2021. Okay. So we have close to 30,000 publications during this period. Okay. Based on these categories, right. For these categories. Okay. So what do we have to do next is that from, uh, uh, top to vec, we have to import top to vec and we have to pass this abstract list of abstracts to create a model. So this creates a top to vec model as simple as this. Okay. Now let's get the number of topics uh, in this model. So for that, we uh, call this model dot get num topics and we have 213 topics. Okay. Now this is the number of topics. Now let's look at what are these topics. Okay. For that, there is this function called get topics where you pass this number of topics as a parameter. This will return topic words. Okay. For each topic, it returns the top 50 words in order of similar semantic similarity to topic. Then the word scores, which are the cosine similarity scores of these top 50 words to the topic and the unique index of the topic. Okay. That is what you get over here. And this is in decreasing size. Okay. So the topic, which has the highest number of documents will be first and so on. Okay. It is in decreasing order. So let us look at the words in the topics. Okay. So for the first uh, particular topic, you can see these are some of the words, transmit, uplink, downlink, interference, uh, transmitter, fading, transmission, relaying, wireless communication. So maybe this is something to do with wireless communications. Okay. Then there is another topic which talks about topic two is more about networking, IOT, internet. You see some of these things, right? Like this, you have these top 50 words, which are very semantically closer to this topic over here. For example, this could be about camera right? A topic four, topic five is about robots, right? Topic six is something to do with NLP because you have multilingual sentence, lingual tokens, embeddings, and so on. You have NLP also over here. Like this, there are actually 213 topics in this data set as per this model. Okay. So that is what I'm showing over here. I'm printing all the 213, uh, just to see how it looks like the top 50 words for the 213 topics. Okay. And each topic has a topic index. Okay. Let's just uh, scroll through this and go to our next uh, part. Okay. So the next part is, um, we are going to search for topics most similar to a keyword, right? For that, you have this search topics function and here the keyword I'm going to give is medicine and uh, the number of topics is five, the top five topics related to this keyword medicine. Okay. And I can get the topic words, word scores and the topic indexes. Now let us look at the topic indexes. So it says that topic seven is very close to medicine based on the semantic uh, similarity score over here. Okay. So topic seven is quite close to this particular keyword medicine, right? So these are the top, top five topics related to this keyword medicine. Okay. So using this uh, topic number, you can also generate a word cloud. 
okay so that is what is shown over here you can pass the topic number and you can generate a word cloud okay so for these topic clusters 7 79 77 81 27 we are generating the word cloud so if you look at topic 7 it was related to medicine and the most common words are lesions segmentations anatomical clinical disease scans yes this is very much related to medicine right and if you look at topic 79 it talks about something like cited citation scientific so maybe some articles or something okay then one more is something intelligence ethics related to medicine maybe um, then again you have something specific to cardiac okay again related to medicine right and then there is something about education maybe related to medical education okay so this is the functionality of searching topics based on keywords okay and it returns you can say i want the top 10 topics related to this keyword or top 5 topics related to this keyword okay so this is that function right next we can also search document by topic for example if i uh, give a, a topic number as 7 over here right and i say i want the top 5 documents which are uh, in this particular topic okay based on similarity so this is search documents by topic okay it returns a list the most similar are first it returns the scores and the unique ids of these documents okay now if you look at the documents uh, the topic number was seven uh, this talks about uh, segmentation of kidneys and kidney tumors uh, incorporating human domain knowledge for breast tumor diagnosis coronavirus so this is again related to medicine right uh, something about lung cancer and things like this so these are the abstracts which have been extracted based on the topic okay and this is like you can again say the number of documents how many documents you want for this particular topic again topic 7 we saw over here right it was about some medicine uh, medical segmentation and things like that lung ct diseases so on okay so that is what is this this is searching documents by topic okay then we have we can also semantic search documents by keywords so basically given a set of keywords you want to find which documents are very semantically similar to these keywords okay that is model dot search documents by keywords again we are printing the particular document id there's a score semantic similarity score and so i've given the keyword as cancer and lung uh, so these are the abstracts which have been pulled out uh, so this talks about lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer this is the first document uh, the second document talks about cardiovascular disease and lung cancer the correlation between that the third one is acute diagnosis of breast cancer right fourth one is actually histopathological these are all related to this domain of cancer okay so the keyword cancer and uh, basically lung i've given so for these keywords these are the most semantically similar documents okay so this is search by documents by keywords okay and then what we can do is that last is that we can also find similar keywords to a particular word so i'm do, uh, giving a keyword as cancer so what are the similar words in this particular corpus right so it says breast tumor lung tissue clinical tissues again lesions survival gene so these are the words which are very semantically similar to cancer in this particular corpus okay so this was about the functionality of top to vec so what and all we can do in top to vec it's basically a model to create you know you can do topic modeling and semantic search okay so it, it can automatically detect the number of topics right it can get uh, you know you can search topics by keyword we saw that we can search documents by topic we saw that we can search documents by keywords we can find similar words okay and find similar documents so that is this functionality of top to vec now let us look into how top to vec works the key assumption this algorithm makes is that many semantically similar documents are indicative of an underlying topic okay so the first step is to create jointly embedded document and word vectors using models like doc2vec or universal sentence encoder or bird sentence transformers okay so semantically similar documents will be placed closer to each other and they'll be also placed close to the most distinguishing words in this space that is an assumption okay so the next step is that from this vector space you are using dimensionality reduction using u map and you get a lower dimensional embedding space because in the high dimensional space the document vectors will be very sparse okay because of dimension reduction it can help in finding dense areas or clusters okay so each point in this uh, lower dimensional space is a document vector okay uh, that is what is shown over here right so then what is done is that on this space you are going to do a 
clustering using HDB scan. Okay, and when you do these clusters, the colored areas represent the dense areas of documents. Red points are outliers that do not belong to a specific cluster. Okay, now each of these cluster in turn actually becomes a topic. Okay, now what is done is that for each of this cluster, right? What is done is that you go back into the original dimension of the document vectors. This is the reduced dimension, right? Using uh, your U map. From this dimension, you go back to the original document vectors and find the centroid, okay, for a particular cluster or a dense area, okay. Now that becomes your topic vector, okay, or a representation of the topic, right? So the next step and some outliers are not considered over here. Only the uh, you know close uh, vectors are considered over here for the centroid calculation. Okay. The next step is for this topic vectors, you find which are the words which are very close to this topic vector. Okay. That is what is done. Okay. This can be done because you are mapping the documents and the words into a vector space. Okay. Using joint embedding. That is why you can actually find out, you know, which words are closer to this particular topic vector. Because this topic vector is in the space of document vectors. The word vectors are in the space of word uh, vector space, but then it is a joint embedding space. Okay, because of that reason, you can find the which are the closest words to a particular topic. For example, this could be a topic about, you know, uh, global warming. So you have these words like global climate warming, change temperature and all closer to this particular topic vector. So this is how top to vec works. Okay. So the key assumption is that similar documents, semantic similar documents are indicative of a topping. So let us create a joint embedding space of documents and word vectors. On that, let us do some clustering. From the clustering, we can identify which are the topics, right? From the clustering, we can go back to the your uh, document space, uh, vector space and find a centroid, which is your topic uh, vector. And you can also find which words are uh, attra attracted or which are close to the documents in this particular cluster. So they become the topic words. Okay, that is the key idea. Okay, so I'll put the link to this particular Kaggle notebook. Uh, so you can experiment on the ARXAV data set. Uh, you can perform your experiments using Top2Vec. I'll also put a link to this particular GitHub page of Top2Vec. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. Happy learning.